The flyaway's workflow itself is quite easy and similar to the strays. Just for the sake of the start, I'm going to change the actual expression. I'm going to copy paste it. And I'm going to put just a zero here magnitude for you to be able to see a little bit better the effect because the magnitude expression can make things a little bit harder to see. So the basic uh, concept of the flyaway is actually that it's a hair that does not follow the shapes and it can be standing everywhere even if it's just a noise. So flyaways are hair that are far away from the actual pattern, kind of follow them, but they can just be completely random and average. You have two ways of creating flyaways. One is to create a completely different setup with a completely different pattern of guides and that setup is mostly if you need to animate wind on the flyaways. You can create a new description here. Description, create description. And this one is going to be flyaways. And placing it in snapping guides. And you can come here and place some guides that kind of follow the same shape of the other guides. Let's see. Ooh. I didn't want to select the other ones. So flyaways, these are my guides. So you can scale them and kind of give them a different shape. This is if you want to control the flyaways uh, for animation. And normally if you do not want to animate or create something that realistic, this is not going to be for all the shots, for all the scenes, just for the ones that you actually need to create something like that. So you can have a shape that is a little, a little bit different, but following the shapes a little bit and maybe twirling and curling, something like that. So you can come here, put a lower density of the hairs uh, on the mask. You can even create a mask from a value like the one that we had before. That is this expression here. So you can control the mask and tail uh, on density that you want just some of them just a really really low density put the values again uh, a width of 0 0.01 maybe just to see the flyaways always with reference depending on how thick the hair should be uh, you can change the taper with the taper start so you are going to have thin hairs uh, maybe 20 on the modifiers and you can actually see the flyaways there I'm going to make them thicker just for you to see them. You can see that we have flyaways there and then you come here and add a noise. So a noise or a coil if you want to add a coil. So we're going to add the same expression to affect them. A magnitude of 10 maybe and a frequency of 0.2. So you have flyaways like that. They are not following the actual line. You could use the same guides. So if I don't want to use this kind of guides, I can delete them and I could come here and use the same guides if I don't want to art direct. So I can use the same guides to direct this kind of setup. The other way to create them, let me change to the other description. It's to change them and to create them via expressions. So we have here or put this magnitude into two. So we have here five or noise only. And I want to create flyaways. So I'm going to create a different noise completely noise here. And this one is going to be flyaways. So you can come here. Let me select the noise actually. I think that I have too much CVs. Let's put 40. It's going to give a nice effect and it's going to be much faster. Uh, so frequency, I need to put the mask. It's going to be a percentage, a really, really low. The magnitude need to be high because it's a real flyaway. So the magnitude may be with a value of 20, uh, maybe even more. The frequency is extremely high. So I need to have a low frequency for the flyaways because I just need to break them from the overall shape. So 40. Now it's starting to be seen like a flyaway. Now I need to change because it's from the base that I want to move them. So you can see here, 
is starting to be seen as a flyaway. The mass should be even less than that, 0 0.1. So just even 0.1% of the hairs are being affected as flyaways. And you can see them here. It's a closed workflow. You can see the flyaways there. If you want to preserve the length, you can preserve the length. Let's see that I want to preserve the length in 60%. And you can see them that they are actually shorter. And you can see the tips. You can see everything, how they affect the actual shape. And we have the combination between both. This will be impossible if I use just only the set stray percentage because I'm using different percentage for the flyaways than from the actual stray noise. And that stray noise as I have it is most similar to a damage kind of noise that you should put it always. That one we will see it on the next lesson. So thank you for following this tutorial and see you on the next one.